they are going to be the acting to songs of war for movie season 2 half minecraft now let's see <sighs> Yeah, I forgot at the end of Song of War he was. The Tide Singer? How is that possible? During the Battle of Mount Velgren. Levi's real name. Achillean Nestorus. Or Achillean. Like Gallius does. Just don't. I fought with Ingressus. And I've been following him ever since. I can elaborate on the details later. But first. I have a few questions of my own. Where has the war gone? Where is King Rendor and the rest of the Alliance? King Rendor died many years ago. The Great War is over. I see. Then it seems I have fallen out of time. Does Ingressus possess the other Prime songs? Thankfully, no. Sindaris relocated all the Prime songs recently to prevent this very issue. No one else knows where they are. And how old is Thalius now? Thalius is dead as well. He died hiding the last Prime. Then we must make haste to ensure his death and many others were not in vain. Are you sure there is no one who might know where Thalius moved the Prime songs to? He didn't want to leave any trail for the Voltaris. Actually, I know where one is. Thalius hid the Mobilium Prime song in Crown Peak. I was with him on the journey. Then we ride to Crown Peak immediately. Hold it right there. We follow me as orders. You stupid thing. Why would you not listen? No, I'm back. Uh -huh. Onyx is right. It's your stupid call, Captain. Crown Peak is the next logical step. Let's. He's so bossy. He's so bossy, but bruh, he's so bossy. Get some help. Move out. Something go wrong? We have in the night return. Now they never return, they die, but new ones. Let's set up here for the night. So, I guess this is it. This is the entire team? Your glowing eye seems to be taking a break. Well, I'll be the first to formally introduce myself. My name is Saxon, and I specialize in potion brewing. You're not talking about alteration potion, are you? Isn't that illegal? In all the six kingdoms, it's illegal. Dangerous and extremely difficult. Not a problem for me, though. Your pal Saxon... Not a problem for you, yeah. ...has years of experience. I don't claim to be the best brewer. But I've made my fair share of potions. And I'm not just talking speed enhancements. Once I made a potion of invisibility. I say once because I lost sight of my buyer and he never paid up. <laughs> <laughs> so how about you, Speedy? Tell us about yourself. What? Who? Speedy's name is... Me? Oh, okay. Well, I'm Trevor. I was an impression... Oh, his name is Trevor. I think it's Speedy. Princess Enchanter at Twin Pass, hoping to train at Etheria one day. Mm, that's mostly it, I guess. So, if I asked you to make my boots and breaker, could you do it? Would save me buying a new pair after all this walking. Oh, oh no, I can't. Me? I haven't actually been able to enchant anything yet. I'm still learning. Give it up for Trevor, everyone! The Enchanter! So he wanted clapping. Shame. Denny, you're a farmer, right? 
Yeah. My entire family, too. We supply much of the food for Hyperia. And... Diamond Heights. I thought I recognized your surname. I'm sure you remembered mine. So mean. So, Abby, are you ready to become the first Endoqueen to rule all of Ardonia? I don't plan on ruling Ardonia. The Ender Kings have always ruled. Well, at least until the King Render stepped down and created the Six Kingdoms. Wasn't that a good thing? The people rebelled for years in order to have free kingdoms. Ordinary people don't know what's best for them, Abby. That's why it takes a strong leader to rule them. As soon as Render gave up his power and retreated into the end, the Nether army attacked. The Great War would have never happened if it weren't for him. This guy deserves to die. The this guy deserves to die. The end of the good will die. Perhaps you put too much pressure on yourself. I can help you with that. Allow me to rule with you as king and queen. I can manage on my own. <laughs> Is everything all right, Danny? You kind of just stormed off there. Uh, sorry. I just I can't stand Alistair. I mean, I don't agree with him, but he has a point. Not that he's a Diamond Heights person. Saw the pendant around his neck when he first arrived. What's wrong with that? Engelson Farm has always done the hard work to feed people like those in Diamond Heights. Yet somehow we stayed poor and they just got richer. And they're always looking down on us like we're no different than our farm animals. I've been to his house before. I saw the dragon egg on display. Of course, hatches for him. Dragons have always been known to hatch for the right person. Maybe there's more to him that we're not seeing. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Sorry, I don't mean to come across as a problem. You're not a problem, Denny. Attention seeker. you become a chronicler anyway? Hmm? Oh! I, uh... This is not created, created by the... Of course, it's not created by the right person. This is not the person created. Who? Who's voice is this? Who's... This is this. What? This is... So, how'd you become a chronicler anyway? Hmm? Oh, I, uh... What was that? No. Let's, let's just watch. Well, I guess I used to read a lot growing up. Still do. <laughs> then I began to realize I could be the one writing these books. The only way I could please my family and still go on adventures was to become a chronicler. Becoming a chronicler is a big commitment, I imagine. Certainly. In order to record history with minimal bias, we have to make a few sacrifices. A family, most hobbies, a normal life. And you were fine with that? <laughs> I've always been a bit introverted anyway. And the work I'm doing may live forever. Did they make the captain of the guard give up a normal life as well? No, Natsuki. No, I wasn't forced to give up those things. That was my choice. My father was captain of the guard before me. And my grandfather before him. Obviously, they expected me to become the next and be married off to someone of equal wealth and power. But being the captain is challenging work. And with the increase in attacks from the undead and now the necromancer war, I just couldn't keep up with everything they expected of me. I gave up a normal life so I could focus on one thing. 
protecting Felden. If the Necromancer... You protect Felden, I do that in my life. Answers beat us here at Ferndale. Make it to Flora. I'll be the first captain who allowed our capital city to fall under siege. I cannot and will not let that happen. Messenger bird just flew in. Said we should stop by Ataraxia first. I think it was for you, Tide Singer. You mean we have to go back the way we came? Mm -hmm. uh, so, Grek, if you're one of the few, where are the rest of the Jagathins? But no, never met another one. I've heard we originated from one of the uncharted islands east of Ardonia, but I doubt we still live there. Why are there so few? For the arrival of the he's almost, his car is almost extinct. Wow. And dead, we were often hunted and killed by other species. Why was that? We're a warrior species. Fighting and killing fills us with adrenaline as well. You killed each other, what? What the hell's wrong with you? It's a necessary energy for evolution. A Jagathan only lives to be around 10 years of age unless he fights and kills enough. In which case, he will evolve to the next level and live another 20, and so on. This process eliminates the weak Jagathans and allows the strongest to live well over 100 years. So before the undead arrived... You tell me, dude, those things can live up to 100 years. Don't get me wrong. Gallius is over 300 years old. You had to kill the other species to survive? Exactly. You can imagine why we were hunted in return. But once the undead arrived... We found we could satisfy our needs by killing them instead. Jagathins uh, have been known to face hundreds of Look at this, I forgot the name. undead in order to guarantee an evolution. You said you were class two. How many classes are there in total? Four from what I've heard, but it's unlikely we'll live that long anymore. There just aren't enough undead these days. You could kill the Death Singer. <laughs> now that might do it. Hubert is exaggerates. No, I don't like Hubert, he's exaggerating. I'd be a fool to think I could defeat the Death Singer. He may be powerful, but he's not invincible. If you put a sword through him, he'll bleed just like anyone else. You'll recall he only killed three of the four old masters. Aegis Nestorus, the master of my clan, survived. Death Singer was too weak for Aegis. But didn't he appear in Nestorus' colors? Only the master of a clan can initiate an Ardoni into that clan. Some folks believe Aegis may have sanctioned ingresses. Rumors and lies. Aegis Nestorus would never have welcomed the Voltaris into our- Death name that stupid. Says Aegis will let ingresses come into the clan. Clan? Death Singer used dark magic or other trickery to appear in our clan's colors. Mind if I sit with you? Yeah, <laughs> sure. I want to hear the snow. I must confess, I am feeling rather lost as of late. I was hoping someone could expand upon what I missed these past 150 years. I don't know if I'm qualified for that. Did you know? Before they called me the Tide Singer, I was a fisher from Nestoria. I had never used a song in my life until the war. You mean the Great War? The Great War. Is that what they called it? We have much in common, you and me. I would like to hear the history from you. All right. Well, everyone believed you and the Death Singer were killed. The Great War ended, and for a very long time, there was peace. Or so I've heard. About 15 years ago, Sidonia attacked Carthen. Or, or was it the other way around? Sorry, I only learned some of this recently myself. Then tell me where you are from. I gathered from your name that you were raised in Sindaria. That's right. Sindaria. There's nothing quite like it. Ataraxia's floating islands, the forest of Concord, Crown Peak's peak. They're incredible. But not like home. And then the Voltaris came after the Prime Song and...
destroyed my village along with everyone in it. And I was alone. I, as well, lost my closest brother to the Death Singer. Maybe when I told the story about the Gnidia, savages must be about the Gnidia. Since then, I have traveled to many strange places and seen I was unimaginable things. Yet everywhere I go, there is a presence of love. Daisy Nisty shot him. And he shot him. Before you can fight, what you believe is right. Why am I right that you fight it? You must first learn and understand what is wrong. What sort of person lives in a place like this? Yeah. I don't think anyone lives here, Trevor. Looks like our dragons are sitting this one out. Wait here for the dome. This is Thunderdome, so I'm here. This is Thunderdome. Sorry, no. Thunderdome. Thunderdome. I'll be fine, Luna. I heard what he said, Thunderdome. I know where this place is. It's an elder stronghold. A few of them were built around the world a thousand years ago, before the land was even known as an Ardonia. Gallius told me we would be going to the end, a different dimension. It looks like he was right. So, which one of us is entering the creepy portal first? I'm guessing it's not going to be you. Oh yeah, I'm guessing it's not going to be you either. Did Danny just... Oh well, second isn't bad. You know, Abigail, there's never been a female end night before. Perhaps there was a reason for that. Nosy respect and food. Pythos, not King Pythos. Why is he sitting there? Pythos, Pythos and Ingressus. Many years ago, your father and I formed one of the greatest alliances any world has ever seen. With our combined strength, we nearly conquered all of Ardonia. I come here today seeking to rekindle this alliance. But you didn't conquer Ardonia. You lost the war. The nether forces withdrew, and the Voltaris were defeated. Back then, you had three prime songs in Gressus. Now you only have one. Your father, King Kronos, recognized the strength in- My father? My father was a fool. Where is King Kronos? Kronos, where is he? What did he do, Pythos? Where is he? He retreated like a coward when we were on the brink of victory. Looks like he killed him because he can't be talking like that for a while. Wait, is he like. I think he did. He killed him. He was a disgrace to our people and to my family name. After returning to the Nether, I put my sword through him so that a I will never rule this kingdom again. That is pleasing to hear, King Pine. This is not happy. I know. He's just saying that. As you may know, I have no interest in ruling the overworld. The kingdoms are in turmoil. The Ender Knights haven't been seen in years. And the faction known as the Necromancers have diverted their attention. Now is the time to strike. Fight with me, and help me reclaim the Prime Songs, and in return, I promise you the Nether will rule the Overworld once more. Ugh, I'm terribly sorry. Let me 
me just get these out of the way for you. Move aside, you clumsy oaf. Not this time. There's no time. The tunnel has reached Saitori and Malachi is personally overseeing the final steps. We have to act now in order to stop them. Here it is, the legendary domain of the Endernites. What do you think's inside? Let's find out. Guys, in here. I think I found something. Ooh! No way. Obsidian armor. Too heavy for ordinary men to wear. However... The armor activates for Antonites. And Antonites only. There's certainly enough in here for everyone. Not everyone. I don't see any that will fit women. Interesting, isn't it? Definitely not cooking for him anymore. He has absolutely no respect. He's right, though. There isn't any female armor. Maybe I was a mistake. You're not a mistake, Abigail. When you arrived at my farm, you told me I was someone special. We gathered everyone. All the Endernites. Look where we are. We're at the end. Who goes there? Alec, it's me. Lucan, where have you been? Kyoshi's gonna kill you and- Listen, I don't have time to argue about what rules I've broken or what sort of trouble I'm in. The necromancers aren't attacking Ferndale. They're heading straight to the capital, and they're almost there. How do you even know this? Lucan, I have to take you in. Kyoshi needs to hear this from you. I can't. Not until I get her back. If you want to stop me, you're going to have to kill me. Which I'd prefer if you didn't. The evacuation is complete. We fortified the perimeter, but the mines have been quiet. Too quiet. They should have attacked by now. Captain! Captain Kyoshi! Lucan just arrived at camp. He's been undercover with the Necromancers and says they're marching straight to Flora. Pack where you can. We ride to Flora immediately. Flora. I did not believe the rumors when I first heard them. But here you are, Achillean Nostaris. Your markings are familiar to my eyes. You are a brother of Thalius? Indeed. I am Gallius Sindaris. I am sorry to hear of your brother's death. He was a powerful ally and a good friend. The rest of you are welcome to resupply and rest up before you journey on. Achillian, follow me, please. Fortunately, most of the TNT has yet to be placed. Our only chance to save the city is to detonate it prematurely. Now wait just a second, Borgen. Let me talk to them. I can try to dissuade them from this plan. And what if they don't listen? Then I'll be the one to detonate the TNT. Don't worry, I'll be fine. 
I'm good at talking. Hello there. Good day to you. A little small for a Magnorite. Ah, that's because I'm not from around here. I was born outside of Garthen and have spent my life as an outcast, being bullied and mocked That's and... because you're a tiny runt. Why didn't you stand up for yourself and fight back? Because I shouldn't be... We shouldn't be fighting. We need to learn to coexist with those whom we share Ardonia with. Coexist? <laughs> and give others a weakness to exploit. Working together is not weakness. We shouldn't be blowing up, Sidonia. We should be making peace. Peace made us complacent. Peace made us weak. When I took Carfin by force and rallied the Magnorites to fight, our drive allowed us to destroy Sidonia and save ourselves from a slow doom. And now, again, we have grown weak. So look around you. In moments, we will destroy the city of Phaedon from below. Dodonia will retaliate, and Carfin will defeat them once again, bringing us back to glory. I can't let you do that. Magmarize are evil besides Igneous and his friend. You can't stop me either. I was actually hoping we could, you know, talk it out, negotiate. I think it's time I showed you how real the Magnarites negotiate. Okay. Uh -oh. okay, I wanted to do this anyway. What is the superhuman strength? What is this? For someone who thinks too much, you didn't really blend us through, did you? of the ends. Alistair, give the crown to me. Why should the crown be yours? Why should there be a queen when we can have a king? I will rule Ardonia as the ancient Andrew kings once did. Crown Peak will again be our throne. The kingdoms will submit to my leadership or be destroyed. You'll have to go through us first, Alistair. It was Abigail who brought us together. And it's her we follow. A crown isn't enough to make you king. You should have stayed on the farm, Danny. It's the only thing you've been good at. Alistair, we won't let you do this. A war is coming, and we need to fight alongside Ardonia, not against it. You are so naive. The people of Ardonia will never fight together unless we make them and kill those who refuse. Yeah, I know she's dead. 
Oh my god, I just... Goodbye.